as we approach Lent, uh, it's important that we get the beginning right. Uh, with so many things in life, we can fail to understand the beginning and we complicate things as they progress. Uh, in our church, we have uh, Advent, and which is followed by Christmas, and e equally we have Lent, which is followed by Easter. Now, the season of Lent begins with Ash Wednesday, and for the first time, perhaps in all of our lives, we won't be celebrating Lent as we have traditionally done in our churches, which might be a good time for us to maybe to think again how to celebrate it, but also think perhaps on its deeper meaning. Uh, Ash, the Ash Wednesday, is a very important thing in our church, and whatever about it and why it's so important, our churches have always been full, and you really don't have to be encouraging people to come for Ash Wednesday and the ashes. And at times I feel we haven't really grasped the fuller meaning of the ash. The ash, the ash we, how we comes about is important to appreciate. The ash comes from the palm that we had for last Palm Sunday. The story of Palm Sunday was about the church giving us palm branches and we were remembering the moment of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem when the people of Jerusalem were so enthusiastic and they welcomed him and it was as if they were going to make him their Messiah. Uh, but in time, the church kind of saw, as we saw, see from our scriptures, that within a week, the people had already crucified Jesus. In their own use of the palm branches, we too are reminding ourselves that we took those palm branches last year in our churches. And over the period, they now have withered and faded. Uh, very much like our own commitment, uh, perhaps, has withered and uh, faded. And so the church kind of invites us to bring the palm branches back. And we burn these palm branches and they, they form the ashes that we now make the ashes for Ash Wednesday. So there's a very important connection between Palm Sunday and Ash Wednesday. It's sad at times to feel that people have never realised the connection as if the, the ashes were somehow the more important that they are blessed. It's more important that they are your ashes, that they are the ashes of the community. And they represent the palm branches that we could perhaps brought to our own homes uh, last year. So it's important that we kind of identify with these palm branches and the ash as our palm branches and our ash. And it's been wonderful to see how the people of Wilton have brought back their palm branches and they are now become the ashes that we have. And now the way in which we will do ashes in our church this year is because of the pandemic. We won't be coming together to do the palm branches or to do the ashes. Uh, we have burnt the ashes and we have placed a, a certain amount in these envelopes which we are inviting people to come to the church before Ash Wednesday, to take them home to their houses, and when Ash Wednesday comes, they can apply them to their foreheads. Equally, anybody listening who perhaps is not living nearby, you can send us a stamped addressed envelope, and we will put this envelope into the, your envelope, and we'll return it to you. And you can make it then as part of your own ceremony uh, when watching with us on the webcam on Ash Wednesday. As the church says to you, repent, and believe the good news, change your way of thinking, change your understanding of who you are, and then apply the ashes of saying you want to change your mind, you want to change your ways of thinking, you want to change the way you feel, and hopefully that's what you will try to do during Lent.